Glasgow, industrial capital of Scotland, was a century out of date. Constrained by all its boundaries, too many people living in too small a space. But behind the problem was an opportunity that could be turned to great advantage. The chance of life for a whole region. This was the opportunity. A new town here, an area far enough removed from Glasgow and Edinburgh to preserve its own local character. Pivoting on the old village of Livingston. The Livingston Development Corporation was created. Their job, build a town from scratch. This is Livingston before the new town. When was this, that? Oh, this, this is, um, it was 1957 actually. This one was done, so there was, there was none of the new town and all the bits are built no in. No Craig Sill was. There's nothing. This is, I mean, this is where they built the first houses in the new town. Um, Dean, Dean, South. Was Dean South, wasn't it? This whole area now is covered by the, the new town. I mean, you're, you're built right up and down. Well, when you, you look at it now, and you, you think about the, the first map we were looking at, we had a wee village with eight streets. You've now got a town with eight villages. All separate communities, because but together. That's all empty there. And that's 1982, there was nothing there. But they've now built a football stadium there. And they're That's busy right. building all these houses and that but opposite the stadium. And the, and the civic centre. Yeah. I never expected to see that when I was Well, I certainly school. didn't think when I was thinking I didn't want a new town at all, no. that I would come to, you know, appreciate what we have. They euphemistically put it as the market's flat, but the, it's less than flat. It's just uh, it's it's going down every year, and uh, we're stuck with a couple of houses in, in West Calder that we're finding difficult to sell. But it might, it might just be our year to 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 offload them and um, go on my merry way into retirement. I sit over in Spain, uh, you know, supping my cerveza and counting the rents as they come in. But uh, there's a bit of work to be done before we get to that stage, I'm afraid. So I suppose I've got maybe got another few years in me, um, which uh, I'm not downhearted about. Um, just hanging in there, pretending I'm working. You know, um, gone are the days when you had 70, you're building 70 houses and you were doing roads, sewers, everything, everything. And um, yeah, uh, I'm working at about Probably, I don't know, 5% capacity, but uh, I'm working. That's the main thing. All right, because this one's got a bit of heavy curbing around this rim, we're not going to get that out with emery paper. Um, and because these are mine rather than somebody that's paying to get them done, we're not looking for perfection here. I need to get every single bit perfect. I need to get it perfect for I move on, you know what I mean? <laughs> I, I can see that, can't I? That's quality, no. <laughs> Then you should go. <laughs> actually, it looks better than that. Oh, it looks, looks better, aye, but concentrate your efforts on see this bit here, it's real straight. Oh, Cammy, you make me laugh. That's the only reason you still get to come here. Huh? You make everybody laugh. Realistically, <laughs> let's, let's, let's look at your practical skills here. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the good construction school leader, buddy? You know, I'll put with that after a week. Hey. Nah, good few weeks. We don't need to use the hammer. <laughs> I think when, when it was first started to get built up, there's a lot of people came from Glasgow and from Edinburgh as a kind of overspill, mm -hmm. and people were trying to find an identity. Uh, and I think uh, because of that, you know, people think it is, is it's rough. Um, but, 
I don't really think it is rough at all. Um, I think it, it has that reputation for whatever reason, I have no idea. There's maybe other people on the outside looking in. The wonderful Wizard of Oz. Look at that safety I know. She must be having a kid. Aye. Hey! Oh, I loved you. Oh, I loved you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. When we heard there was a crowd coming in for Glasgow, I goes like this, I goes, oh, I know what? It. I know it. <laughs> oh, they're not coming to work with us. <laughs> but we're going all right. Well, we were, I was from Edinburgh, so I didn't like it at no. all. I hated it. But there again, just, there was nothing here. There was just houses. That's right. That was all. I think Craig Hill was about the first that was the only lot, one. wasn't it? That was the only housing. Was the uh -huh. uh, well, no, that was the only shopping centre was at Craig Hill. I said, I'm not coming to stay here. <laughs> no, I know, I was the same. It just I'll be honest with you. That, yeah. My husband had uh, work out here, mm -hmm. so that was the reason that we moved. And, you know, well, we it just grows moved. on you eventually if you stay in a place long enough, I suppose. <laughs> I get my killer yeah. folk when they screw their nose up. You know, if they say to you, where do you come from? I said, I'll stay in Livingston. Oh, you didn't stay there. I said, I wouldn't come out of it. I it's like everywhere else. You get the good parts and you get the bad you parts. Do, yes. And it doesn't matter where you live. Guys, as you can see, I've got two knives here in front of me. And if you had a choice, I want to ask you which knife you would like to be stabbed with. Whether it's the big one or whether it's the thinner one. Small one. Small one? Small. Small? Small, sorry. Okay. Why is that? The big one could do more damage. Okay. If you look at the larger knife, that will take a lot more force, a lot more energy to try and get that in through your rib cage and into your vital organs compared to the thin one, okay, which is very small, thin and pointed, which I think would do a lot more damage than the bigger one. Just something that happens in an instant, it's not something you plan to do. Happened in an instant. And I was walking down, walking down to my pal's house, then about 12 of them just ran us, bricks and that. It's just, it's not something you. I, I, I didn't see when I left the house, I didn't go out intending to stab anyone. But when somebody's swinging a bat at you, chucking a brick at you, and you're getting badly battered, it's just, it's just a lash of anger. I, I thought, knife comes out, people's going to be like, wow, you know, nobody's going to and walk away, leave it in that, nobody's hurt, right. I'm no hurt, they're no hurt, it's left to that, but it's obviously not happened like that. There's only, see, you, you can't you can run all your life, but you can't, you take too much action, you start, you're looking at time. Do you think you're fairly resigned to the fact you're going to be doing some kind of sentence, eh? Mm. I, I think, um, Few, few years. It's, like, it's not the end of your life. I'm only young and now. Come out in a few years and you can start again. Build up something new, you know what I mean? I had to go to a call once where a young boy got stabbed in the town here, okay? And he basically died in my arms with, with a loss of blood within about three or four minutes, okay? And it's the worst thing in the world for us as a police when we need to go your, to your mums and dads, your parents are guarded and say, you're not coming home tonight. It's absolutely horrible and uh, it never ever goes away from me. So if you can take anything away from this at all today, remember that. Because this is the town you stay in, and the last thing you want is for it to be known as a knife culture place. This panel here tells you about the shale 
and the shale mining that went on here in the village. There were miners' roads along the main road here, and all the people who, who lived here all worked in the shale mining fact, uh, white works that were over at the left, the right hand side here. But now that's all away, and the bings are all away, and we have all these Shinitsu, NEC, First Bus, Tesco, all these great big companies have uh, works across there now where people work. The old school, where all the children in the village all went to school, um, it's now a mosque. Which player do you like most? Uh, I'd say Lionel Messi. Lionel Messi? Yeah. Why? Because he's like a legend at football. Mum and Dad says you have to study oh, first, make, make make your education priority rather than football. But like still, whenever he finds time, time, he brings his cards or try to exchange these cards with, the, with his schoolmates. And he goes to the mosque with his football. And whenever they have a free time with Imam, they are playing football, you know. And my wife, she makes sure that we all get hot food every single day in the house. And kids eat like this. TV off. Bismillah, Padu. Bismillah, Rahman, Rahim. Loudly? Bismillah, Rahman, Rahim. Shabash. Haris, Bismillah, Padu. I chose to live here only uh, because of her and I intended to go back after my uni. They, they think you are Iraqi or, or from Arab country or from Dubai or somewhere yeah, and, like, and they speak slowly. What do they say? The old lady in Asda. She what says, she um, say when I was getting my shopping, she said, is there anything else, dear? I said, no, you're all right, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> she was funny. She thought Mummy was from Iraq or Iran or somewhere like that. Last Friday we went to mosque and the Haris's friend was sitting beside him, the smaller boy. Yeah. It's younger than his age and, and he was saying, Haris, why you are so light and your dad is like this, you know. Yeah, your dad is Yeah, and Haris was a little bit looking at Haris, Haris, you, you, you need to answer your bigger boy now. Yeah, if everyone was the same then, like, nothing would be, everything would be boring. Like, you'd be meeting everyone the same every day. Certainly brings back memories. Used to be a gatehouse, old turreted gatehouse in here called Charlesfield. The gatehouse to which was Charlesfield Farm. The, the gatehouse has been knocked down unfortunately and that, the bungalow is in its place. And that's where my mum was born. So my mum lived here for years and played around here as kids for years and years. But, uh, oh, how times change. That's the old school, Livingston Village, where I guess my mum used to go for primary school. It's now a children's nursery. And over there, let's see, Livingston Development Corporation original offices. 
And from there, LDC built the new town. Not quite the same anymore 